Mondays, Mondays, this is the way. Hello and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Mandalorian, the X-Wing Jesus. And this is Baby Yoda or Grogu. Reaching for the stars, so it seems. Anyway, we are going to be looking at what's coming out for Star Wars in 2021. And to start the show off, we're going to see what a computer device thinks is going to happen. So, Alexa, what is going to happen for Star Wars for 2021? I have a few skills for that. Let's try one. Would you like to try Chewbacca chat? Okay, what's Chewbacca chat? Do you want to try Chewbacca chat? Yes, let's try Chewbacca chat. <coughs> okay, wow, Chewy, is that you? Okay, nice to see you. And as we can see, that is basically going to be... Chewy just growling. Okay, Alexa, turn off. Yeah, Alexa, turn off. There we go. Wasn't that great? Anyway, um, on to the rest of the show, what we're talking about. So, as we can see, that wasn't much help. So, um, we're looking at what films are coming out. And... Uh, Basically, there aren't any this year, so unfortunately, zero. There may be next year or the year after. We know there's uh, two coming out. One's called Acolyte, and the one after that is Rogue Squadron. But who knows what's going on? That's not this year, though. So that leads us on to TV. And uh, the first one up is Andor, which is basically Tales of Cassie and Andor before Rogue One. Um, now there are trailers online you can have a look at and then more of this is what we've done so far and bit behind the scenes so it's pretty good look and it shows a production on that is very high and we're probably talking blockbuster budget on that one it looks brilliant so check that one out um, we've also probably looking at Kenobi as well um, that's been going for well over a year now, so I'd hope that that's out before the end of the year. Um, Ewan McGregor's in that one, again. Um, and then we're looking at next December, I think, we have The Book of Boba coming out. And we're, that's all our, that's our favourite, well, one of our favourite bounty hunters coming out. Anyway, so uh, obviously The Mandalorian, Din Djarin... Yeah, he's he's the man. He's our favourite. And um, then looking at, because that's coming out, Mandalorian scheduled after uh, Book of Boba. So that's not due until next year, 2022. Uh, um, can't help that, mate. You, you know, you're in it, probably. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be quite a while, I think. Anyway. So, that, com that leads us on to um, uh, computer games. And from what I've seen online, there's a, a VR game coming out called Star Wars Tales, The Galaxy's Edge. And I think that's all to do, it fits in with the theme park and everything. But that's going to be like a standalone tale there. And that's all VR as well. So you need a headset for that. Um, looks quite good. Again, check it out on, on the Hollow Net. Um, uh, we're looking at uh, Funko Pops. We think there's going to be lots of them this year. Uh, also, they're extending their range to T-shirts. So I can't think of why you would have a Funko Pop T-shirt rather than a, a normal Star Wars T-shirt. But there we go. Um, also, we've got Lego. They've got a little bit of a schedule coming out. I should have a graphic for that. And on top of that, they've announced their uh, High Republic timeline. So the High Republic, there should be another graphic coming up now. The High Republic takes place 300 years before the Battle of Yavin. That's BBY. 
So that's quite important. That's that's where everything seems to be measured from in terms of years and things like that. So uh, 300 years BBY, that is, is well before Phantom Menace and anything that we know from that. Um, but it doesn't go anywhere near as far back as the Knights of the Old Republic. That's 4,000 years BBY. So we can't expect any... This is all a completely brand new... Um, entry into the world of Star Wars, new characters, new ships, everything, and it, and that that's pretty cool. And that's not even the Golden Age. The Golden Age was just before the fall of the Jedi, which we see Phantom Menace as well. So that seems pretty exciting. And now we come to games. So um, we haven't heard a lot of anything what's happening this year so far. The only thing we do know is that Fantasy Flight Games have got two more releases for for, 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 for Legion, and that is Agent Callus for the Empire, that's gonna be really cool, and then uh, Lando for the Rebels, and also very cool. Both have, I think, at least three poses you can make out of the kits, um, really quite excited for that because it's Empire and, and Rebels. I don't really do uh, the other two, Republic and uh, Separatists, so that's going to be pretty cool. Also, what was alluded to last year, Team Covenant did a video with uh, one of the FFG staff and they're looking to incorporate the Mandalorians into their what was their games that has now been handed over to Atomic Mass. So there was talk of a Mandalorian faction in that video. So hopefully we get something that comes out of that. It's quite exciting, I think. Um, so leading on from Legion, we have X-Wing. Um, so with the Mandalorian um, comments and all that that have, that have been made, I'm hopeful that we're going to get the Razor Crest. I mean, it's only been a year since that ship we saw that ship first come out. So um, hopefully we should be getting something like that. And then, of course, this one might be a crew member in it. So um, other than that, we're, I think, looking up by what we've had, we've had with also, with the Bad Batch being mentioned for Clone Wars as well. Did I mention that earlier? Ooh, I think I might not have. Anyway, the Bad Batch for Clo from Clone Wars might be coming back in their own series. That might be happening this year. Animated again, um, looks really good. Anyway, that tangent dealt with, the Bad Batch have got their own shuttle that was in Season 7 also. So might we see that for the, for the Republic, for, for X-Wing? So I think that would be really cool to have all that and the crew as well. That would be, that'd be fantastic. Um, as well as that, we've got Armada, so I think we can expect lots of more Republic and Separatists. Um, flesh that out and make it more interactive with the, the existing Empire and uh, Rebel fleets. Although, who knows? Who knows what's coming? I mean, how does Mandalorians fit into that if they're coming out? Um, I can't really see the Gauntlet coming out for that, but it's... You know, Gauntlet is the big ship that um, Bo-Katan gets picked up in. In uh, I think it's the last episode. She's she's there. That's her ship. Too big for X-Wing. Is it big enough for Armada? Who knows? But there we go. Um, just thinking about it. That that last episode. It should. You know, we had an Imperial shuttle as well. Um, could we be possibly seeing the Imperial shuttle as a release for? Uh, scum and then see shuttle Tiderium in there as well as a cross faction um, release so you'd have Han Solo and Chewie flying flying the rebel version and then Din, Din Djarin and, and the others flying the Imperial shuttle that would be pretty cool as well because uh, I think with, with the Django release we're seeing a bit of a cross faction release there and hopefully that's the way Atomic Games are all going to go with that. So 
if Atomic Games can get their act in order, we don't, we no, we just don't know what's happening at the moment. We'd like to know what's happening, but the last thing that they they posted about all this was back in November. So uh, we could really do with some communication from from them on, on that. That'd be great. Um, other than that, we're looking at board games. Um, so I'm hoping that we can get an Outer Rim expansion because all these games that come out on their own, they're all developed with future expansions based based on the original one coming out. And that one's fantastic. If we can get an expansion for that, I'd be really happy. It's such a good game. And as well as that, we've got Rebellion. So if they, they can add to that as well, people have be very happy indeed. So uh, there you go. That's all I've got for this episode. Um, as always, this is the way. Mendoza, 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 Mendoza.